Thank you for tuning in to Remstar Says So, the channel where I like to discuss boxing, football and tennis. Please hit like, hit subscribe and press that bell icon so you can get notified when all new videos come out. This video is about the heavyweight division. Now a lot of people say that the heavyweight division is booming. A lot of people say that this is the best heavyweight division that we've seen for some time. Um, and I just want to question this one. I'm not saying that it is and I'm not saying that it isn't. But let's think about this. Right now, if you look at the picture in this video, you've got a picture of what I believe to be the top four heavyweights. Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua and Luis Ortiz in no particular order. Now looking at those guys, I truly believe that they are the four best heavyweights out there. Fair enough, Luis Ortiz has already taken a loss, but that was in an absolute classic against Deontay Wilder in March 2018. Looking at the rest of the heavyweight division, I don't know how booming this division really is because I can't see anybody beating anybody in that division. When you look at heavyweight divisions prior, you look at Lennox Lewis losing to Oliver McCall, Hassim Rahman. You look at Mike Tyson losing to Buster Douglas. Um, you look at Evander Holyfield losing to Riddick Bowe. I don't think that there's anybody outside of these elite four that is going to come and get an upset. When I look at the heavyweight division right now, the top 15, you're looking at Alexander Povetkin. Well, yes, he had a classic with Anthony Joshua. And for the first five rounds, he was absolutely taking it to him. He broke his nose in the first round, and then he took it to him for the other four. But he gassed after five rounds, and then round six and seven, AJ done the business. You're looking at Jarrell Big Baby Miller. Yes, he's a huge tank, and he likes to chat a lot of smack on IFL interviews. But could Big Baby Miller actually beat Luis Ortiz? Hell no. Could he beat Fury? No. Wilder would put him to sleep and AJ would break him down. Who else have we got in this top 15 of so-called great heavyweights? Joseph Parker. Well, Joseph Parker, he had a great fight against Anthony Joshua. He never got knocked down. He didn't get knocked out. But look at what happened to him in the fight after. That was supposed to be his rebuild fight against Dillian White. He got put down twice. The entire Joseph Parker campaign was over. Never knocked down. Well, yeah, guess what? He's been knocked down now. Who else have we got in this division, in this so-called great heavyweight list? We've also got Dominic Brazil, a guy who fought AJ two months after he won the IBF title from Charles Martin. And in the words of David Hay, a human punch bag. Dominic Brazil, who somehow has brought himself into WBC mandatory status, where the winner of Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder rematch will probably have to fight Brazil um, at some point. And they're now looking at Dominic Brazil fighting for a WBC interim pointless championship. Who else are we looking at? Christian Hammer. Well, we've already seen what Tyson Fury done to him in the past. Alan Kawanowski. This is one guy who I actually like. Adam Kawanowski, he likes to come forwards and he likes to bang. If you haven't seen the highlights of him on that Keith Furman undercard um, or the full match, I suggest you go and find it on YouTube. He knocked out Gerald Washington in impressive form. Adam Kawanowski, he's not like the rest of these guys. He looks like he's a builder Monday to Friday and he boxes occasionally on a Saturday. He hasn't got the physique, he hasn't got the look, he hasn't got the charm. But that none of that matters. It's about the heart and what you do inside of the ring. Alan Ka Adam Kadonaski has taken off three of Deontay Wilder's ex-victims. And he's done it in mainly good fashion. But that's what I'm trying to say to you. Is this heavyweight division as good as people are saying it is? Looking at this division right now, I'm looking at four guys... And I don't see any of them losing to anybody apart from them four. Kubrat Pulev. Kubrat Pulev has been a good contender fighter his entire career. But what has he actually done since getting knocked spark out by Klitschko? Nothing. He's turned down AJ fights, I believe, twice. And he's just sitting there waiting for a payday. I don't know what's wrong with this guy. Looking at the top 15, you're rounding this off. So you're looking at Povetkin, Miller. Pulev, Brazil, Kawanaki, 
Joseph Parker, Oscar Rivas, Sergei Kuzmin, and Philip Hagrovic. Do I think any of these guys are going to do anything to the likes of Wilder, Joshua, or Fury? No. Ortiz? No. I would love to see Ortiz get back in the title mix. So if Dominic, so if Dillian White really is going to fight AJ on April 13th, let's see Luis Ortiz versus Dominic Brazil for that WBC interim title. If I was a betting man, I know who I'd be betting on. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think there's anybody in the top 15 or even below that that could do any sort of harm to the current top four? I personally feel like the only people that's going to beat these guys is themselves. If you think anything differently, let me know. Hit like, hit subscribe, uh, press that bell icon, tell your friends about Remstar Says So. We are pushing this channel out now. And if there's any videos that you want to hear me make, if there's any topics that you want me to cover, put a comment in that comment box and I'll try and make a video for you. Thank you.